morning, Washington Patriots. This is WSIC, Washington School is Cool News Program. I'm Brooklyn, your news anchor for the day. Today is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the moment of silence. Now for a report from one of our reporters. Hey, I'm Josh, the reporter for the day. Today I'm going to talk about John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was born on May 27, 1970 in Brookline, Massachusetts. His family called him Jack. JFK went to school in New York and Connecticut. In 1935, he finished school. In 1939, World War II had begun. He joined the Army in 1941. Also in 1941, JFK took command of a boat called the PT-109. A Japanese ship sank the boat, so JFK and his crew swam three miles to an island. In 1946, JFK ran for the U.S. House of Representatives. With the help of his family, JFK easily won. In 1952, JF Kennedy would run for the U.S. Senate, and with the help of his and with the support of his family, J. Kennedy won. In 1953, Kennedy married Jacqueline Lane. In 1960, Kennedy won the presidential election, becoming the 35th president of the United States. On November 22, 1963, at 1230, JFK was assassinated. Everybody was, sh was shocked by it. Lyndon B. Johnson would become president. Those are some facts about John F. Kennedy. Now back to the studio. Now for an extra report. Hey, I'm Josh, the reporter for today. Today I'm going to talk about Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was born on April 13, 1747 in Virginia. At the time, Virginia was a colony owned by the British. He attended school near Charlottesville, Virginia. In 1767, Thomas became a lawyer. Two years later, Thomas Jefferson was elected to the Virginia legislature. On January 1, 1772, Jefferson married Martha Skelton. He had six children, but only two survived childhood. In 1776, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. The Constitutional Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. When George Washington was elected president in 1789, Thomas Jefferson became the first Secretary of State. In 1796, Jefferson ran for president, but lost to John Adams. Still, Jefferson became vice president. In 1800, Jeff Thomas Jefferson became president. In 1803, he bought the Louisiana Territory, which doubled the United States. In 1804, Jefferson ran for re-election and easily won. He would be president for four more years until returning to Monticello, his home, in 1809. On July 4th, 1826, Thomas Jefferson died. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died in the same hour? Thomas Jefferson is remembered for writing the Declaration of Independence. Those are some facts about Thomas Jefferson. Now back to the studio. This was WSIC. Have a great day, Patriots.